Hello everyone, got some more stickers, you know what that means, another physical release from Play Asia of a game that is digital only here in the US, a game I thought I was not going to be playing this year after being interested in it, and thankfully there is a release with full English support physically, going to go ahead and open that up. We have Infinity Strash, Dragon Quest, The Avenger of Dai, and I know this game has not been getting the greatest of reviews, but they're about where I thought they would be, and I think it depends what you are expecting going into this game. And for me, I really like Dragon Quest, but I've never seen this anime, or read the manga, or anything, so all the, the focus on a lot of the story recap, which I think takes up a lot of the time from some of the reviews I've read, will actually be good for me, because I've never experienced the anime, and especially because this is not even, you know, full, it's not a $60 release or anything, I was going in here expecting just a fun little action-based side game, not, you know, a massive, you know, game of the year contender or anything like that, so my expectations, I think, are for like a 7 out of 10 game, so I think it's more in line with what it's actually going to be. I think maybe some people's expectations were a little too high or, you know, thinking what this was going to be. So, definitely exciting. I love this inner artwork. I just think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited to explore another Dragon Quest side game. I really hope they start releasing some of the older titles, start porting them over, because they are so expensive, especially a lot of the ones that the only way to get them in English is maybe the 3DS version, it's crazy expensive, so hopefully this sells well. I know it didn't really sell well in Japan, but hopefully there's a, a big import scene and people you know, like it for what it is. I'm going to give it a try and I'll be back here talking about this game after I give it a go.